Hello everyone. Welcome to the third tutorial of the Genomics to Proteins or G2P portal, which is a discovery tool to link genetic screening outputs to protein sequence and structure. Before I start, um, we have already published two other tutorials describing two primary capabilities of the portal. The link to the playlist of all tutorials is available in the caption of this video. So in this tutorial, I will focus on a case study to demonstrate how to use G2P Portal's interactive mapping tool to map protein position specific scores, quantitative scores from gene of interest to the protein structure. So let's get started. As a target, I will focus on a gene called BRK6, which encodes for an anti-apoptotic protein and is also as an E3 ubiquitin ligase. So let's hit load to load the protein sequence and then next. So you will see that there is a crystal structure available for this protein. So I will select this structure and we'll hit load. Scroll down and you will see that the structure has been loaded. So let's go up and now I will navigate to this score tab where I will find this input form to upload the score. Now the score can be uploaded in this format which is just a protein residue positions comma score or it can be also tab separated. As a quantitative score I will get a popular genetic constraint score called Missense Tolerance Ratio or MTR. So I'll search for BARC6 and here are the MTR scores for BARC6 gene mapped onto the protein sequence space. And the lower the score, the higher the constraint. So basically these red highlighted regions are constraint regions. So I'll download this data in tabular format and we'll open this data on Excel. And I will quickly show you the data preparation that is needed to make this data uploadable to the G2P portal, which is just splitting this data <coughs> by tab and space and hit finish. So the two columns that we need are basically the protein position and MTR score values. Now I will copy this data and just paste it in the input form of G2P portal and hit load. So now you will see that the data have been mapped onto the protein sequence space. Now if you hit on this row header MTR, then the score now is mapped onto the structure space. And here, the lighter shade indicates lower values and darker shades indicate higher values. And as I was showing, that lower values indicate constraint regions. So basically in 3D, this specific region is the constraint region. And probably you can appreciate that the constraint regions were all scattered in the protein sequence space However, in 3D, they are in close proximity and kind of form this one specific constraint regions. So you can take a snapshot of this mapping from the portal or you can also download this mapping in the PyMol compatible format and can do your downstream analysis. Thank you all and stay tuned for the next tutorial. 
where I will focus another case study like this. Thank you.